Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my page. I know it's been a while, but um, I have been in a spiritual battle with the enemy uh, for some time and uh, just wanted to uh, come on here. Uh, God let me to uh, give you uh, some information uh, regarding uh, spiritual battles, um, which I actually wrote down. So I'm going to go ahead and read uh, what was written. So, um, anything negative mentally, physically, or spiritually, uh, there is a spirit behind it. Um, sometimes God allows certain things to happen to you according to his will. Um, his plans are to help you, not to harm you, and to um, lead you into your des destiny as long as you uh, do what he says. Um, because God is righteous, God is love, and uh, he wants to uh, bless you, though his ways are not our ways. Uh, we don't always understand his ways. Um, but uh, my experience um, throughout my life is being a uh, demonic target. Um, and being uh, demonically stalked and um, through that um, it helped me get closer to the Lord and taught me uh, their behavior um, with this uh, negative um, situations that are come about in your life um, you can always test the spirits. First uh, John, verse four. I'm sorry, chapter four, verse one um, says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not." that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it shall, should come, and even now already is it, is it in the world. So today we are living in, um, in the end times. And um, if you have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ um, as your Savior and confess that he died on the cross for our sins and then you are not your own you belong to the Lord okay uh, in the beginning was the fall of man um, and there was a situation uh, that that happened uh, in the book of Genesis so I'm going to go ahead and read that and let me just get to that page. Um, and the scripture is Genesis uh, 3, verse 2. All right, so let me get to that one moment. <clears throat> okay, so it says here, And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in a day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant, to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and also and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat okay um, so uh, there's controversy that I've, I've, um, I've seen um, with, with scripture um, explaining as to uh, what actually occurred during this time. 
and I'm just going to go out and say it. Um, Eve ate of the fruit, and the fruit was Satan, resulting in the pregnancy. Um, she also laid with her husband, Adam, and uh, that resulted in a twin birth. So Cain is of Satan, and Abel is of Adam's seed. This is how spirits are able to possess. Um, and there's also a scripture um, that kind of backs that up too. Um, I'm going to go to Genesis 1.27. All right, so let's see. In Genesis 1.27, uh, it says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful. And multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and every and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so it said be fruitful and multiply and then we, we go back to um, the um, case of the woman and the serpent even a serpent um, it says we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. And um, therefore fruit, the fruit was Satan, okay? All right, so um, there's one more scripture here uh, that may uh, be able to back that up as well. All right, and let's see, that is See if I can find it for you. <clears throat> uh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, I uh, was able to find it. It is John 8, verse 44. All right, so uh, in John 8, verse 44, and I am reading from uh, King James uh, Version. Uh, it says, um, and these were uh, the words of, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <clears throat> um, Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay. So um, that's my scripture to back up that um, um, Eve ate of the fruit and the fruit is uh, Satan. And uh, a lot of people do know that, but they uh, try to cover that up and um, there's a spirit that that just wants to create chaos and um, wants to keep you uh, in ignorance uh, regarding that uh, situation um, <clears throat> but uh, throughout the Bible we see that the God's people are constantly under attack and um, in affliction and it was simply because we were his, he chose us as, as his people uh, and were conformed not of this world and had taken uh, Satan's place to glorify God um, because he was the original um, musician uh, who uh, was over the musics and the arts and um, used those things to, to glorify the Lord and we are his replacements, okay? <clears throat> And unfortunately, um, your adversary, Satan, knows this, and uh, he studies you and me, okay? Um, this is his job, and he has not backed down. 
Uh, if you look at the situation that's going on in the world today, or the current events that's going on in the world today, clearly um, it has intensified. Um, we are his number one target, and he wants to take as many of us with him um, into that pit of destruction. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to go into that lake of fire, and I hope you don't want to either, which is why I'm on his YouTube. Okay, I'm here to help you. And I believe God sent me here um, so that I can help you um, combat against these demonic spirits in the name of Jesus. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he's done a great job of keeping you ignorant of his devices. Um, I mentioned it and uh, added text in my video. Um, it was two videos ago. One, two, or maybe uh, three videos ago. Uh, where I had uh, put in text um, Satan's devices and unfortunately that video um, at the time had got the least watches and that's how I knew uh, the adversary was uh, doing his job okay so it's time for us to be on our job in the name of Jesus okay all right so his number one target is women uh, just as he attacked Eve in, um, in, in the garden. And it was a subtle attack. Um, he, has, he has a subtle, subtleness about him, uh, which lures you in. And then he uses his, his, um, his looks as well. Um, because she looked and saw that it was pleasant to the eye, as the uh, scripture said. So um, we want to not be ignorant of Satan's advices and uh, get into our word because uh, in our word um, which is God's word and he does not lie is your sword against uh, principalities and high places and, and uh, fighting against wickedness in the name of Jesus <clears throat> okay all right so today what I'm seeing is that we are not reading our Bibles and we're just too busy uh, to give God our time uh, but we love to get on social media <clears throat> and we love to be distracted by other people's um, issues and um, the television and, you know, um, so forth and so on, uh, media. But the um, Bible does say who controls the airwaves and it is um, because Satan stole Adam and Eve's uh, right uh, as the rightful um, people to, to rightful place of ruling over this world so um, now he is the ruler of this world but what God wants to do and he's carrying out his plan right now and there is a transition where he is uh, restoring back the nation um, restoring back his people um, so that he can transition into his kingdom in the name of Jesus okay um, let's see uh, let's see King James Version Job uh, 2 verse 2 let me get to that and um, you know as I mean that that a saints attacks have anticipa intensified uh, these days because we're living in the last days um, here's a verse that, that uh, talks about um, how your adversary is constantly on the move, all right? So it says, and the Lord said unto Satan, from whence camest thou? And Satan answered, Lord, answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it, okay? So <clears throat> he doesn't stop. There's no, no, no sleep for him. Uh, when you're sleeping, that's when your enemies, uh, so the most, uh, do their, do, like to do their damage, okay? And that's when you're sleeping, that's in the Bible. Um, words of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, okay? In the book, I believe it's of Matthew, um, but I would have to, uh, take a look and, and see if that is the case, and please correct me, uh, if I am wrong. All right. So, um... I'm still reading my, my little notes here, so uh, please forgive me. I want this to be as uh, as real 
and as natural as it can get because I see a lot of videos where they're um, they do a lot of editing I do small editing because I want to be real and truthful with you guys okay um, now's the time to give God our time because um, there is almost no time left uh, Jesus will return the signs are there and um, with this transition that's going on um, everybody's in their in their proper places according to uh, what the Bible says in the book of Revelations okay whether good or bad um, this is God's word and he does not lie okay all right so it's time to to get back into the word of God and <clears throat> meditate on his words and get a better understanding of, of uh, meaning. And you can't do that without accepting uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, then you will get the, the Holy Spirit, which will help you um, for discernment and, and understanding. And if you ask God to give you those things, he will do so. Um, but make sure you do serve Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Um, there are many more reasons that are in the Bible as to why we are in so much turmoil and I'm talking about God's people um, and going through tumultuous times right now uh, in scripture um, the reason why God took his hand off of us is because we wouldn't listen to him um and there's a verse in, in uh, the Bible that says he's slow to anger. So it took him a long time um, to actually take his hand off of us. But um, now what God wants to do is, is restore us. Um, so there is a calling to wake up um, from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is, is telling us to wake up as time. Um, turn away from wicked wickedness and um, serve Jesus Christ and him only <clears throat> and it's not it, it, it's a process and it requires you to look at your inner self with the help of the Holy Spirit you can't do anything without God you gotta put God first and <clears throat> let go of dualities um, we as a people are drawn to music because we are musical people. So it comes from God. <clears throat> and um, the devil knows that. So what he did was uh, enchant you uh, with his secular music. Um, so I advise, first thing to do is let, let go of that music. Um, it influence you it, it can influence you and there are a lot of demons attached to it. Um, I am not the first to say this and I won't be the last and um, Bible simply says be not ignorant of Satan's devices that's one of his devices okay um, big one because um, he's master of that okay um, we should glorify God um, and give thanks unto the Lord for this is the right thing to do um, we also want to ask God to forgive us of our iniquities daily on a daily basis um, we should be talking to him at all times um, not just uh, at nighttime as a nighttime prayer should be consulting um, in the name of Jesus um, because the enemy is um, running around like a, a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and it's getting more and more intense as I mentioned earlier um, it's getting out of hand okay uh, you want to sing praises or uh, prayers into his name. I did a video about that. I um, was very nervous because uh, God had 
put me into something new that I uh, usually don't do, very shy around people and uh, not wanting to, to talk in public. Um, so um, if you look at that video, you'll see uh, how um, nervous I was uh, at, at the time. And um, it wasn't explained as how I thought in my mind it, it would come out, but um, people got the message. So I think, thank you, Jesus, uh, for that. And uh, we also wanted to uh, dance, sing and dancing. Yes, dancing. Dancing unto the Lord um, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So that's another good one. And um, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, um, the Spirit will begin to correct your behavior. Um, but we ought to be staying and meditating on God's words, um, kind of like eating his words, um, so that if anything arises against us, then um, we'll have the sword um, in our mouth and can't defeat the enemy without God. And you cannot defeat the enemy without the word, okay? You need Jesus and you need the word. The name of Jesus is the name above all names and very powerful because he was found without iniquities uh, when he died on the cross for our sins. And he is the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords and shall rule with the rod of iron. Okay? Uh, we also need to not forget about the Ten Commandments. Okay? Um, in the book of Exodus, I believe it's Exodus 20. Let me just go back to Exodus. And yes, it's Exodus 20. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So not your Facebook, not your YouTube, not your video games, not your mu secular music, not your boyfriend, not your girlfriend, not your husband, not your wife, because God comes first. Believe it, because it is the word. It is a fact, okay? Um, Also, we need to study um, the New Testament um, because we are still in the age of grace. And that is the commandments of Jesus Christ, which I think was in my first video, okay? Um, until the rapture, then everything goes back to the Ten Commandments and that's where um, um, you have to study, go back to the, you know, go back and study the Ten Commandments. You need both to survive you don't want to forget about one and the other because you still don't want to do these things that was listed in the Ten Commandments, okay? Though God will forgive you because we are in the age of grace if you ask for forgiveness, but um, the point is not to ever do it again, okay? Um, let's see, that is Jesus' Commandments is in the book of... One moment. One moment. All right, so Jesus' commandment, uh, which is very important, is uh, the book of Uh, Matthew 22, uh, verse 37 through 40, okay? Um, so Jesus said unto, unto him, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 
on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Okay. Um, he goes on and talks about living righteously. Um, so if you're going to meditate on his words, meditate on all his words. Okay. Because he has many words and many parables. And you won't understand them, um, as he said, without... Um, uh, unless it's uh, your your follow up Christ, okay. Um, what I'm leading up to, um, so there's going to be a second uh, video here uh, regarding uh, principalities and and darkness and um, the kingdom of darkness and. Uh, things that are are going to come upon this earth um, sometime soon uh, within the book of Revelation because as I mentioned before we are in the end times okay and let's see we want to make sure uh, according to the second Thessalonians 5 uh, verse 15 see that none render evil for evil unto any man but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men so this is where we should be at uh, your enemy is very united and the number one target is you okay um, so um, the Holy Spirit is calling for a great awakening because it's time to unite and be as one in Christ um, because he is soon to return. And um, the reason why I'm instructing you this is, uh, as I mentioned before, this, this video is leading up to uh, giving you truths, which came from God and the Holy Spirit. And God uh, placed it upon my heart and actually spoke to me um, and said, uh, tell them about darkness or the unholy okay which is a representation of a person okay um, so that you be not ignorant of the darkness around you okay so we will cover uh, witchcraft and um, demons and uh, principalities. Um, so uh, I want to pray with you now. For those that um, have uh, seen this uh, video, I ask that you bless them and open their eyes uh, to see uh, the things that are uh, going on around them and give them a better understanding of, of the things that are now and uh, things that are uh, to come in, in this timeline of revelations. and. Um, Bless them with prosperity, those that are uh, suffering. I don't believe there's not one person of God's people that are not suffering right now. And then if you look at, at, at those that are, I mean, that are of God's people and those that are not of God's people that aren't suffering right now. Everybody's going through something. And um, I witnessed um, five first funeral uh, near me. And uh, it was shocking uh, to actually see that the many uh, cars that uh, drove, I had to drive by and the many hearses that I had to drive by. So we are living in perilous times. So I want ask God to bless you with prosperity, bless you with long life, to cover you with the blood of Jesus, give you uh, the spirit of uh, wisdom to do what is right during this time and to wake up and know that it is time to serve God and, and God only in the name of Jesus. And I pray that this message reaches uh, those that are non-believers uh, and allow them to know that it's time to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and repent of their sins, accept uh, Jesus Christ and um, confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ um, died on the cross for our sins that we may have everlasting life. Um, for this is the right thing to do. Um, 
the gift that, that God gave us was his son who died on the cross for our sins that we may have everlasting life and it is free 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 um, you don't want to be caught um, with iniquities during these end times um, once Jesus comes and raptures up the, the people it's gonna be uh, lots of death lots of destruction and lots of darkness so it's time to come to the light now and um, don't be a, a foolish virgin be a wise virgin and uh, the beginning of wisdom is to fear God because God's wrath is coming upon this earth um, this is the truth uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit and um, I love you each and every last one of you and stay tuned uh, we will continue uh, with uh, the message from the Lord about darkness uh, have a great day in the name of Jesus and I love you bye bye